when you meditate, you're making a home for the mind, a comfortable place inside where you're safe, where you're protected from a lot of outside influences. You fill the body with your breath. You fill the body with your awareness. As soon as the breath comes in, think of it going all the way through the body all at once. Don't think that you have to pull it from the head down to the waist halfway through the breath and then down to the toes by the end of the breath. No, it should go all the way down to the toes, right, right at the very beginning of each in-breath. When you breathe out, think of the breath radiating out in the air in all directions. This way you inhabit this space. Don't let anybody else get into your space. Because all too often our home is a home maybe for the hour that we're meditating, and for the rest of the day it's a bus station. Anybody can come in and do anything they like in the bus station. And then you come in one hour a day and try to clean up, and it's like a janitor coming in cleaning up a mess that's been made by crowds of people. And the janitor will have trouble keeping up with them. What you've got to do is close off your ears, close off your eyes. That doesn't mean you don't look or don't listen. While you're doing meditation right here, you don't look or listen. But the rest of the day, when you have to look or have to listen, have some sense of what's proper in your looking and listening. Who are you letting in? When you look at something beautiful, you're letting lust into the mind. When you look at something you don't like, you're letting anger into the mind. Okay, you're opening the doors and windows. Anybody can come in. So if you find that you're looking with lust, and sometimes it's not just the lust coming in, the lust is going out looking for the problem to begin with. And you give it a chance to do that, okay, that strengthens the lust that's already there in the mind. Same with anger, same with delusion. You've got to look very carefully. Why are you opening your doors and windows? What are you hoping to get out of looking outside? And as for the things that are necessary, the things that are part of your work, the things that are part of your family relationships, to keep everything going smoothly. You can still see, you can still listen, you can still deal with these things. But just be careful you don't let a lot of strangers into your house. A lot of people are going to eventually evict you, because they're going to take over. So an important part of the meditation is how you go through the rest of the day to protect this home in the mind that you've been building. Now, using the breath energy is one way of helping us. The Buddha compares it to a post. When your eyes go out looking, you stay with the post right here at the body. And the issues of the eye don't go very far. The same with the ears, nose, tongue, body. Try to stay here with the breath, keep the breath filling the body so it feels really good, so you're less likely to get hungry and go looking for scraps outside. You've got good food inside here. After all, it is your home. It's a well-stocked kitchen. And as long as you appreciate it and don't let the greed, aversion, and delusion come in and eat up everything in your kitchen, then you're going to be fine. <laughs>